Deep inside our brains are instincts that have evolved over hundreds of thousands of years. Instincts that help to stay safe in a dangerous world. Keen eyesight that's able to detect subtle changes in color or movement. A quick brain that can calculate distance, direction, and speed. And great hearing, which can quickly pick up the sound of danger. But we now live in a highly technological world in which we're protected from most natural dangers and we're threatened by many new ones, against which we have fewer natural defenses. We work in a very complex industry, in extremely challenging environments, and although we design our facilities to be as safe as possible, they still contain serious threats. To spot them, we need to be continuously aware of hazards and our surroundings. Hazards like moving vehicles that could hit you, machines with moving parts that could harm you, heavy objects that could fall, and equipment that's electrically charged or operating under high pressure. Simply put, we have to stay out of the line of fire. Hazards can be anywhere. Some of them are obvious and some are hidden. Knowing what they are, understanding how they could affect you, and taking simple precautions will help you stay safe. The trick is to visualize potential lines of fire so that you can avoid them and only work in areas where it is safe. Hazards can be found in many places. If there is a heavy vehicle behind you, where might it be going? Has the driver seen you? Are you in a safe place? If you're driving the vehicle, are you paying attention to what's happening around you? What might distract you? When you're maintaining machinery, could any part of it be electrically charged or under pressure that could suddenly be released and harm you? If you're working near machinery that has moving parts, could they catch your clothing? If you're using a hand tool, might it kick back and hurt you? You're using a torque wrench or a lever to apply force. What could break or snap? You might be close to lines being tensioned. Could they trap you? If they break, would they harm you? Are you working near fluids or gases under pressure? Could they blow out and injure you? You need to think about the people around you too. Is your work putting someone else in the line of fire? But if our brains are wired to keep us safe, why do incidents happen? Because the threats can be hidden and because we can easily develop a false sense of safety. We simply don't realize that we're in a line of fire. We all need to hunt for hazards and avoid lines of fire because too often a hidden hazard can become a very real incident.